Election Commission of India's proposal to give it permanent legal powers to cancel elections. How ECI is fighting the use of black money in elections. What electoral reforms are we looking for? GS Paper 2, Electoral Reforms, Challenges Pertaining to the Federal Structure? What is the context about? The Law Ministry rejected Election Commission of India's proposal to give it permanent legal powers to cancel elections, on credible evidence of the use of black money. How ECI is fighting the use of black money in elections? The ECI has been deeply concerned about the use of black money in elections. It has repeatedly written to the government, suggesting electoral reforms for the last two decades. The setting up of the Expenditure Monitoring Division in 2010 in the Commission was a milestone in its efforts to challenge the abuse of money in elections. Stringent guidelines, and strict enforcement, led to the seizure of hundreds of crores of rupees and put some fear of God in the hearts of the profligate politicians. Recently, the ECI took an unprecedented step to cancel elections to two Tamil Nadu Assembly seats namely Arava Kyurichi and Thanjo. What electoral reforms are we looking for? Prescribing a ceiling for political parties' expenditure, like that for the candidates. Considering state funding of political parties, not elections, with independent audit and a complete ban on private donations. Enforcing internal democracy and transparency in the working of the political parties. Bringing them under the RTI. Setting up an independent national election fund where all tax-free donations could be made. It could be operated by the ECI or any other independent body. Accepting the ECI's proposal to legally empower it to cancel elections where credible evidence of abuse of money has been found. 6. Debarring the persons against whom cases of heinous offences are pending in courts from contesting elections. 7. Empower the ECI to deregister those political parties which have not contested any election for 10 years and yet benefited from tax exemptions. 8. Making the paid news an electoral offence with two years imprisonment by declaring it a corrupt practice.